RFD TV presents Gentle Giant with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. Welcome to the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. Millions of people each year are entertained here. And of course, you know about Mickey Mouse and Cinderella, but you may not know that heavy horses play a key role here at Disneyland. We'll give you a unique look behind the scenes at the Circle D Ranch and learn what it takes for a horse to become a part of the Magic Kingdom. Stay with us, Gentle Giants is going to Disneyland. Welcome back. Behind the scenes of Frontierland and Toontown is a five acre slice of horse heaven called Circle D Ranch. It's home to the 14 gentle giants you'll see at Disneyland. Walt Disney had a vivid imagination and a gift as an artist. He became known for his animation and theme park design. But long before he sat at his easel and drew the famous Mickey Mouse, his first commissioned drawing was as a 10-year-old boy in Missouri when a neighbor, Doc Sherwood, paid Walt to draw his horse, Rupert. Horses and livestock have played an important part in the formation of Disneyland, and the Circle D Ranch was one of the initial structures. Roy Hungerford has worked at Disneyland for 13 years, and for the past two years, he's been the manager of Circle D Ranch. Welcome to the Disneyland Resort. Uh, this is the Circle D Ranch, and uh, what you're looking at right now is the Pope House. Uh, the Pope House was here uh, in 1955, and it was for Owen and Dolly Pope, who were the ranch managers at that time. Uh, Walt Disney brought them in to manage a herd of about 300 to 350 mules and horses that they use here at the resort uh, to pull stagecoaches, trail rides, and uh, other events here at the resort. Walt Disney did have a very good passion for horses. Uh, this was kind of his prized jewel uh, here at Disneyland. Uh, from the very beginning with the stagecoach rides, uh, you know, Davy Crockett riding through Frontierland, uh, he just, the emphasis was on horses. And uh, the Main Street trolley uh, out there with that, um, we have photographs of it just when the park is opening up with the trolley running on Main Street. So uh, him moving Owen and Dolly Pope here onto the ranch was uh, probably a very good move at the time, especially with 300 horses, 300 plus horses here. Uh, they were able to concentrate on creating a great program for the resort. The streetcar trolleys is one of the original attractions that opened with the opening of the park and we're still here today. And uh, the ranch is still a big um, part of Disney. On our ranch, uh, we have um, some buildings uh, for housing the horses. We have our main barn. We also have a smaller barn um, for our goats and donkeys. Uh, we also have a bird aviary for our uh, cockatoos. Um, we have a panel walker here, which we use for uh, exercising our horses since we're kind of in a limited environment back here. Uh, we also have an arena. Uh, that's where we uh, begin work with all of our horses, and um, that's also where our horses get to go out and have their play dates every day um, with the other horses. We also have an outside stall area for our horses who aren't working. Our horses normally work three to four uh, days a week and about three to four hours a day. Uh, the rest of the time they get to spend in their outside stalls uh, on their little mini vacation. With horses, everything is always changing and always different, and when you add guests and, and a park on top of that, it can always be different, but um, for our cast members who work here in the barn, their typical day is really a ton of hard work. So they get in, they've got to feed all of the animals, they've got to clean all the pens, they um, get horses ready for Main Street, they get horses bathed for their next day on Main Street, and then we have our cast members who work on stage, and so their experiences are um, you know, they're difficult because their job is to make people smile. So, you know, you go out there and, and anytime you're on stage, you have to be on, you have to be ready to work and you've got to be um, there with a smile on your face for other people. So that's their focus. And then our focus for the barn is really just a ton of, of hard, hard work and, and getting it all done, but the payoff is huge. And then um, for Roy and myself, we kind of get to enjoy all of those things. We get to play that role occasionally, but then we sort of oversee all of um, our guests and our casts and make sure that everything's running smoothly. 
We do a lot, a lot of, of different things to make sure that our cast members understand that their role is significant and what they do is special. And um, I think Roy and I have a great experience that our cast members get to do this with horses and with sheep and cows and goats. And so we get, we kind of have an extra boost. Like they're our secret weapons maybe. When we return, we'll see what it takes to become an official Disney horse. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. With all the distractions here, safety for both the horses and the visitors is always a priority with the handlers of Disney horses, and a rigorous training routine prepares them for a busy Main Street. Safety is a big uh, precaution here at Circle D Ranch because we are handling large animals. Our biggest horse, Sully, is 192 hands and weighs about 2,400 pounds. And uh, so we're very careful about handling our horses. We have very strict procedures. Most of our cast members that come in here have prior horse experience. However, when they come in, we tell them it's fine what you do at home and how you train at home, but here you'll do it the Disney way. Jen Gable is Circle D Ranch's equine trainer. So the first stage is getting used to the round pen, doing groundwork, getting them trained to ride and to drive in the cart and the drag. Then our second stage is taking them out of the barn backstage and then also taking them out on Main Street when the park is closed. So that way they get used to all the surroundings, they can mentally prepare for their job and physically prepare for their job. And then the third stage is actually out on Main Street with the park open, with the guests. We also have them go up to the petting farm where they do guest interaction up there and it's just all part of our process. What we're doing here today is getting the horse used to being out here on Main Street and used to his job, um, learning how to stay inside the tracks to stop where they're supposed to, um, just basically getting them introduced out here to Main Street without having the streetcar attached because we like to do everything step by step, let them take everything slowly. Uh, horses are very, very smart, but they do a lot better when you give them the chance to really figure things out. So this is just their opportunity to mentally be able to see Main Street without guests, out all the music, all the noise. And eventually they'll come out here with the park open and we'll ground drive just like this so they can experience it again without having the streetcar attached. And this is just basically the beginning part of how we train a horse to Main Street. Big rigs coming through forklifts. You'll have all kinds of noises, painters. So actually, it's a little bit more hectic than this normally. We're able to have the street clear today, which is good because if they can handle Main Street in the morning with all the big rigs and the noise and the traffic, usually when they're out here with just the guests and the other vehicles, it's almost a little bit easier for them. The biggest thing that we are concerned with here at the resort is guest safety and also cast member safety and our horse safety. So we have to send a horse out there that is ready for his job. And you know, there's everything from guests running up and yelling at the horse to balloons, to parades, to uh, there's so many different variables and we have to do our best to repair them for each thing. So back here, we do a lot of work with noises. We take them backstage so they can experience the big trucks that pass by. We have forklifts that come by holding big metal trash cans and it clinks as they come by. So, you know, they have to be able to handle all of that. And that's even for these draft horses that are gentle giants, it is hard for them to get used to that. So it's really important that we give them the opportunity to learn that before we put them out there so that way our guests can be as safe as possible. Here at our ranch, uh, we're actually very close to um, where the fireworks are launched every night for the shows. So our horses, when they first come in, uh, we surround our horses with the older horses who have been here for a while. So the first night, uh, the horse is like, you know, a little nervous and, uh, you know, looking at the other horses, hey, what's going on? And uh, the other horses are either eating hay or laying down and sleeping. So uh, after about a night, uh, the, uh, the new horse gets it and like, okay, I don't need to be afraid of that. If you were to come out here and watch them, they're probably sleeping or eating or just relaxing during the fireworks show. They kind of get overwhelmed with a lot of stuff, so their first night there's usually pyro, and they um, 
you know, that can take a horse by surprise. But luckily, because they're herd animals and because they um, interact so well with one another, they kind of just um, look around and realize nobody else is panicking, so probably I shouldn't. Um, and then we do all kinds of crazy things here that horses don't have to deal with. We have balloons, we have vendors, we have um, rolling trash cans, we do big lights and big music, huge announcements. So um, they kind of get it slowly and we allow them to learn and grow and, and evolve into the Disneyland horse that we're looking for. Some of the challenges we face on stage is just people who are not used to horses, uh, being uh, that close to a big horse moving down Main Street. Um, you know, sometimes guests may just, uh, they're just excited to be here at Disneyland and they're not paying attention and it seems like the bigger the horse is, the more invisible the horse becomes. And uh, you know, we've had people walk in front of the horses and had to stop the horses. Uh, so that's why we really um, work on our training program and that's where our horses are all trained. Um, we can't train for every circumstance, but we can certainly try to mitigate whatever we can with the horses. Katie Hart is a streetcar driver who's worked at Disneyland for nine years, but her memories begin much earlier. I had remembered coming to the park when I was a little kid and um, I used to only ride the streetcar. Like my favorite horses were Jake and Oscar. They were these two big black partrons and I don't know how many pictures I have of me riding with Jake and Oscar. Started driving on Main Street in early 2006. And um, since then I've had the opportunity Robert. to train horses for Main Street and train other people for Main Street. Um, and train other people on various horses for Main Street. And part of that job is just amazing. I mean, you get to meet people from all over the world. It's fun to get to interact with people on that level. You know, not many jobs do you get to talk to people all day long and just talk about them and where they're from and just be interested in them. So that's a, a unique and fun aspect of being on Main Street. More from the Circle D Ranch at Disneyland when Gentle Giants returns. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. Circle D Ranch prides itself as being home to the happiest horses on earth, and a cast of 50 sees to it. Our cast members start out a busy day at about 6 a.m. Um, they're out here, we have a stable attendance in the barn. They're doing all the cleaning, the bathing, the feeding, the cleaning up. Uh, we also have our cast members out on the Main Street trolleys. Um, they're out there uh, entertaining our guests and making sure our guests are having a good time. Before any horse goes out, they're uh, meticulously gone over, their manes are braided, they're brushed out, uh, hoofs are picked and uh, cleaned up, and everybody's just show ready to go out on stage. If they aren't working, they get turned out in groups so that they can play and they can and maintain the herd mentality. And then um, also we try and do the natural horsemanship, so we, we use that Clinton Anderson method and we try and make sure that they understand that we're always going to be herd-centric and we're going to make sure that they, um, you know, get time in the panel walker, they get to walk and, and um, exercise their brains as well as their bodies and they go out and they play um, in the pen with one another. and. So they, they're mentally stimulated a lot throughout the day to make sure that they aren't going to just be bored standing in a pen and waiting for their next shift on Main Street. So we don't do a lot of team driving here at the resort, but we do feel that sometimes once they get out on Main Street, their job can be boring, just like any horse that does training after a while, their job gets old. So we try and keep their minds fresh, doing new things, give them new opportunities to learn new things. Plus, it's great for us to have that skill available in case the resort ever calls upon it. They want a team, we have one ready. And it's just great for our horse's mental frame of mind. The perfect Dis Disney horse is a horse with a good sound mind, uh, very gentle, uh, and calm disposition. Uh, we're looking for horses um, that are not your typical show horse, uh, not the high steppers, 
um, not the ones that are prancing uh, through the arena. We want the horses that are more of a relaxed, um, just a, a gentle giant uh, that will walk down Main Street and uh, let the guests enjoy them. Part of what makes a good Main Street horse, a horse that is um, mentally sound, is a horse that is physically sound. So if they are used to being exercised, if they are comfortable having a lot of work and being able to focus on their job without having excess energy or not knowing how to focus, if they're reactive, then we aren't going to have a good horse on Main Street because there is a lot to react to. We do a lot of things to make sure that, you know, they're not bored so that they do go out on Main Street and they are listening to us and they are doing a good job. And he, this one especially, is an excellent Main Street horse. He's fun, but he, um, they need that. They need to be mentally stimulated and, and exercised so that they are healthy. The tire drag simulates pulling weight on a paved surface and conditions the horses for their job on Main Street. We do carriage rides in downtown Disney through the holidays and through Valentine's Day. So um, we get the experience of, of giving um, guests a quick kind of nostalgic ride through our wedding area. And it's um, quiet and you hear the horses clip clopping. So it's very, very unique to an area like Disneyland. I do love doing weddings. Uh, we hook brother or Reggie up to our crystal coach and we get all dolled up and we wear white powdered wigs. And um, that's really cool to get to do that. And I, I do really enjoy doing weddings. And share somebody's magical day with them and watch them get married and it's the most magical day for their, of their lives. And we're there and we're in this big grandeur, beautiful crystal coach with flowers and sparklies and it's just very magical and awesome. The Circle D cast members love their jobs and the gentle giants. I just love working here. I love coming in every day. I'm so grateful to be able to work here and all of these experiences. And I've done things from parades, being able to show for Disney, to do all kinds of unique backstage experiences. Even sometimes um, our own cast members for their birthdays will give them carriage rides and they get so excited. People see us around the resort and say, oh, you work for Circle D! And they get so excited to see us. And I just feel really, really grateful to be able to come to work every day and play with these awesome animals. 2008. I was given the opportunity to adopt one of our horses that had retired. Um, his name is Major, he's a big Belgian. He's the greatest horse, like he's just awesome. I can do anything with him. Um, I rode in the, the Huntington Beach 4th of July parade recently with him and we do all sorts of other fun events and you drive and we go to shows and it's a lot of fun having your own draft horse. Tell me baby. Hi baby. Hi Zoe. Hi Zoe. Hi Zoe. Come here. There you go. Good girl. This is a fun job because I get to spend um, time with people who understand animals. Uh, everybody who works here um, has knowledge with animals. And uh, so we're all kind of one spirit. And, um, and it's just fun uh, being able to walk out and uh, go walk around with our turkey or walk around with our horse or walk around with little Clarabelle, the cow. Um, it's just a very relaxing work uh, environment. Here at Disneyland Resort, uh, we get guests from all over the world. And it's, uh, it's very interesting and surprising sometimes when guests come in and they've never actually seen uh, or touched a live animal uh, up close. So our petting farm actually uh, comes in great there for our um, guests that come to the resort. There they get to play and touch with our goats and our horses and um, all kinds of animals. And it's, it's just a very fun and fulfilling uh, thing for our cast members when they get to work with these guests. And they get to, you know, describe our animals and talk about what they do. And uh, our guests love it.
We hope you enjoyed your look behind the scenes at the Circle D Ranch. We'd like to thank the cast at Team Disney Anaheim for showing us such a great time. We know that your next visit to the Magic Kingdom will be even more special. <laughs> we'll see you next time right here on Channel Giants. And be sure to check us out on Facebook. Bye now. Thank you.